Okay, let's move on to the next chapter, chapter 14. Let's look at the work energy method. Now, this method is just like second law method, except we integrate your second law. Okay, let's look at how we integrate. Okay. okay. New second law. It's a vector equation that goes like this. Right? Now we can write it in the x, y, and z component. Right? So let's work in Cartesian coordinate system. So if i, j, and k. So i, j, and k unit vectors. Now Recall that this position vector okay, can be expressed in terms of the i, j, and k directions as x, y, and z. Okay, so x, y, and z are the three uh, components of f position, and then velocity v okay, is Express as U, V, and W. Okay? So U, V, and W. So the magnitude of velocity V then equals U squared plus V squared plus W squared. Okay? So Okay, let's look at this new second law. In the x direction, what do we have? Sum of forces in the x equals m a x. Right? Okay, nothing new here. Let's look at this acceleration, a x. Now, I'm gonna recall again. Okay. Acceleration equals dv dt, right, by definition. But this also equals to what? x dx dt, this way, right? Okay. And then, what's the dx dt? That's velocity. So, swap these two, now we have v dv dx. Okay. So, with this, then we can replace ax with X component of velocity, which is U right here. So U and then dv dx in the X component, which is U du dx. Okay. So sum of forces in the X direction equals this. Okay. So what do we do next? Well. I want to integrate it, okay? So to get this word energy form, the second law. So let's just integrate. So integrate and integrate. Okay, integrate from one, two, from position one, two, okay? So what do we get? Left hand side, all right, remains as, as this, okay? Now right hand side, what do we have here? Mass is constant, okay, because we're looking at one particle, right? So integrate u du dx. Okay. Now I want to split variables. Okay. Here we have u and du. Now dx, I'm going to move it over to the left hand side so that forces are integrated over distance dx, going from distance position 1 to position 2. Right hand side, m integrate u du from u1 to u2. Okay. So, this right hand side now becomes what? u du can be integrated easily, which is u squared over 2. Right. Square over 2, going from position 1 to position 2, so this gives you m times 1 half, okay, u squared over 2, 
e two square root of two minus m and u one square over two. Okay, rewrite this as one half m u square two minus one half m u one square. We're going to rewrite a little bit, clean it up. So we have, so some forces in the x direction, integrate over the x equals 1 half m u2 square minus 1 half m u1 square. Call this equation 1. Okay. Do the same thing for the y and z components. Okay. The y component go through the exact same thing, apply the second law, integrate it. So we have sum of forces in the y direction equals one half m v squared, the y component of velocity, v one squared. Equation two. Same thing for the z direction. Z C equals one half m w squared minus one half m w one squared. Call equation three. Okay, let's combine these three equations. All right. First, let's recognize that hmm, some of these three together. X d x plus sum of fy dy plus sum of f d d d. Mathematically, this is shorthand notation to this. This is exactly sum okay, of force vector dotted with d s vector. This is dot product. Dot product. It's a big dot, not just this little one. Okay, so this force vector dotted with this position vector. Okay. Yes, and it integrated to position one and two. And also recognize that this velocity okay, square. Now this is the scalar velocity, the magnitude of the velocity equals, just like what I've written before, velocity squared equals the x component of velocity, u squared plus v squared plus w squared. Okay? So, this, okay, v, this, okay? So, velocity magnitude equals the square of the, uh, the three components, okay, and sum them up. And also kinetic energy is defined as one half m v squared. Okay. So with these three defined, let's combine all these three equations. Equation one, two, and three. So equation one plus two plus three. Alright, so left hand side, what do we have? This is exactly this right here. So integral of some of the forces dotted with ds, right? Okay, from s1 to s2 equals right hand side. This right here, one and a half m velocity squared and the final position is exactly kinetic energy at position 2 okay. minus sum of these which is kinetic energy at position 1. That's all. Okay. So we can rewrite this a little bit. So swap left and right hand side equals some forces dotted with position. Yes. 
that's it. This is your work energy equation. Okay. Where left hand side is the energy. Particularly it's the change in kinetic energy. Right hand side is the the work terms.